Hi, my name is Nadia Hall and I'm the community environmentalist here at T-Town Lake Reservation in Austin, New York. So we're about a thousand acre nature preserve and education center. We have about 15 miles of hiking trails. We see tens of thousands of visitors each year from school age children all the way up through adulthood. Right now, especially around the holidays, food waste is a big issue. We usually uh, waste about 40% of the food that we should be eating each year. And between Thanksgiving and New Year's, it actually increases by about 4 million pounds of food. So what we can do is we can plan ahead. Make your shopping list before you go to the grocery store. Know how many people are coming over to your house and do the best you can to not purchase too much food. Then with those leftovers that you do inevitably have, make sure that you're eating those. Get creative, try new recipes. And then if you do have access to home compost, either in your backyard or commercially through your town, make sure you are composting all those leftovers that you don't get the chance to eat. Composting is a way that you can take all those nutrients and that energy that you didn't eat and really feed it back into the environment. So it's made up of four main parts, and those are the greens, which uh, bring the nitrogen, and that's all your, your food waste, like your apples and your banana peels and things like that. And then you have your browns, and that's going to be bringing carbon, and those are things like leaves and twigs, maybe newspaper, coffee grounds. Finally, you need water and air, and that's going to bring water and oxygen to those microbes that you need to break that material down into compost. And what you're gonna be left with is something called, sometimes black gold, uh, it's called humus, and it's a soil conditioner that's really nutrient dense and is going to improve uh, whether it's your lawn or your potted plants or anything that you have. So you have a couple options at home. You can go and Google uh, certain composters, find one that you really like, that you feel comfortable, that you feel like you're going to want to use in your backyard and purchase one of those. Or if you really want to keep it super simple, you can even use like a cage of chicken wire. Just make a cylinder of it, make sure that it will be touching the ground. Maybe cover it if you think you're going to be getting a lot of rain or something like that, uh, but it's more than possible to do it at your home and it's really advised. Generally, it is something that you can start any time of year outside. Choose an area that you're comfortable with, that you have access to, that again, you're very comfortable going to.